I'm going to talk about common medications for post procedure. The first one would be your antibiotic. This could be Duracef or Cipro. You took your first dose of antibiotic before your procedure. Your second dose is going to be that evening of your procedure. And the third dose is going to be the following morning. And that's if you've had your procedure with a local anesthetic. If you've had your procedure with a general anesthetic or with IV sedation, you're not going to take your first dose of antibiotic until the evening, and then you'll follow that and take the next morning and then the following evening. The next medications would be your pain medications. These could include Norco, Ultram, which are controlled substances. So these medications you need to take every four to six hours. Also along with these medications you might be given Zofram, which is an anti-nausea medication. This medication, um, if you tend to get an upset stomach easily, make sure you take your anti-nausea medication, which would be your Zofran few minutes before you take your pain medication. It also helps to have some crackers or have some toast or have something in your tummy before you take these pain medications. A couple other things that are important to remember, you have a clonidine patch that was to help control your blood pressure. This patch stays on for five days after your surgery. Another patch that you are going to have on is a scopolamine patch. This is an anti-nausea patch. This one you remove three days after your procedure. When you go to remove that patch, make sure that you wash your hands because that medication stays on your hands and if you accidentally rub your eyes, you could have blurry vision for up to 24 hours.